my friends from YouTube, this is Mr. Tronic and uh, today I'm going to show you and teach you a little bit about the MEMSIC 2125 accelerometer uh, in this video I'm going to show you the code, how it works and what can you do with it we're going to start real quick with this uh, small tutorial I hope you guys like it alright, we're going to start with our uh, basic stamp uh, program we're going to open it of course and start a new program and we're going to write down our stamp in this case is VS2, PBASIC 2.5 it is a MMC accelerometer for parallax first thing we're gonna do is declare the variables X and Y as a worth then we're gonna open our debug and clear it and we're gonna start a little loop we're gonna do a pulse pulsing on pin number 6 1 millisecond to declare x value and then we're gonna do a pulse in on a pin number seven to declare a y then we're gonna open our screen we're gonna, we're gonna tell the screen to go home so it will stay in one place and show us four decimals four digits show x and in decimal four show y every time I see this symbol I'm gonna call it show show me I'm asking the screen to show me the value of and the value of okay and then we're gonna pause it for a hundred uh, times uh, thousand milliseconds and then we're gonna loop it and when we put this program into our parallax here's the memsic according to the you go to parallax.com and you look for the memsic pdf and you're gonna find this accelerometer and how it's connected in this in my case I chose pin number six and pin number seven for my project and they'll go here all right oh in this case oh this is different yeah this is different I'm sorry it's pin zero and one so I'm gonna change that's why it's so inconvenient to write programs in this way zero and one okay I'm gonna upload the program and let's see what happens oh of course don't forget to plug your batteries there and I'm gonna start again loading the program and it's gonna give us a bunch of numbers for X and Y as you can see the accelerometer is sitting completely horizontal on a flat surface and we're gonna see a variation of numbers because the memsic is uh, measuring all those numbers they go between 2431 to 35 and for y it's the same number almost 200 for 2490 to 98 maybe it's very important to know these numbers because we're gonna use them later for making a program this is gonna be really cool and now if I move my accelerometer we're gonna see that the numbers change in this case they go down for Y and now they're gonna go up to 3000 something for Y that's Y measurement and now for X they're gonna go high and they're gonna go low on X all right and we're gonna count the values that's very very important for us to know I'm gonna change this program I'm gonna open another program I made to control radio remote control car we're gonna use exactly the same principle variation for X variation for Y it's exactly the same program as you can see but in this case what I'm gonna do is instead of just using and looking at the decimal points what I want to make is a program to uh, turn on and off some LEDs so remember the numbers we had we're gonna use an if statement and show X if X is uh, more than 2800, 2500 not 28 then high 2 that's an LED for forward function for my car else if X is less than 
2300 then we're gonna light up another LED on pin 3 else if y this is the function for y if y is more than 2800 then we're gonna light up pin number 6 and else if y is less than 2300 then we're gonna light up high 9 pin 9 on our parallax we're not gonna do anything else with this we're just gonna put else low everything we're gonna turn off all our LEDs and if command pause it for a hundred so we can loop it and that's it what this program does is very simple let's upload it exactly the same thing we saw a while ago we didn't change that for the debug terminal we're just gonna go you know up and have it we determine a number a midpoint number in 2800 so 2800 it's our midpoint number if it's less or more we're going to change the values of x and y and light up our leds all right here's the circuit this is exactly so if we go high to one side one led is going to light up on x and if we go to the other side if it's more than we're going to light up number nine same for y there you go. What I'm doing here is I'm, t I'm sending these signals through these wires to a remote control car. I just use transistors as switches for the buttons for this car. It's just a remote control. And this is what we're gonna do. I'm not gonna put it on the floor because it's really hard to see. But this is how it works. There it is. And that's how we can use the Memsic accelerometer to make a remote control car using gestures with our hand or putting a glove or something like that. Okay. It's very, very important for us to check the value of X and Y and make decisions according to that in our parallax. This problem might be a little complex probably or, or I don't know, it's, it's the way I understand the problems, how they go. But I was, it was hard for me to find X, how can I play with the values of X and Y? And it's exactly the same thing we can do with the pink. Pink is going to give us distance through a sonar or ultrasonic sound. And it's going to give us a variable. That variable can be put just like X and Y into a command. As you can see, the midpoint is 2500. I chose 28 for X and 28 as maximum and minimum. See that? So I make sure that just by tilting this or shaking it, I'm not going to have mistakes. It has to go exactly to that point. Alright, I hope guys are happy with this. And me too. See you in another tutorial. Have fun with your electronics. Bye.